today you can see the topic on the applications of nanotechnology in agriculture as we know the nanotechnology is the science which where the design characterization um, modification uh, preparation and application of the nano particles or the materials as a source of the nutrients or for the control of pest or disease is the nanotechnology is the uh derived from greek word which means then uh, small things or the dwarf then in case of the nanotechnology where the nanoparticles are the um, material which is measured in the uh, in a na- nanometer scale that is 1 to 100 nanometer and the nanomaterial which is used for coating or encapsulated uh, to uh, material which is used for the Uh, fertilizers or the, in the pesticide or in the herbicides which is improves their efficiency and the improve the crop yields and then in case of the nanoscale which is uh, measured in terms of the approximately 1 to 100 nanometer that is 1 nanometer is equal to 100 to minus 9 meter the 1 millionth of meter which is termed as the nanotechnology is where the 10, 60 times or 60,000 times higher smaller than the Uh, human hair this is the introduction part that we can see the in agriculture that is the backbone of uh, developing countries which were the providing food for our growing population hence there is need of the nanotechnology that is exploit the value chain of the entire agriculture system the nanotechnology is the sixth uh, revolution technology after industrial revolution in mid 70s uh, <coughs> and the nuclear revolution in the 1940s green revolution 1960s and uh, it that is information technology 1980s and afterwards the biotechnology 1990s this is nanotechnology as now emerging and fast growing f- field of science this is the introduction part okay uh, next one we can see the what are the potential applications of nanotechnology in agriculture there are four major po- uh, potential applications of nanotechnology that is first one increase the productivity using nano pesticide and nano fertilizers it is productivity in terms of the soil as well as the crop which were using the nano pesticide that is the material which is coated either in the uh, emulsions or the suspensions which were the in co- or the geolites also use uh, for coating of the f- pesticides which were improving the durability stability and efficacy of the pesticides to break the out uh, break the pest infusion uh, in infestation and then also the uh, nano fertilizers where the source of nutrient content which were coated with the nano material or nano particles for the uh, uh, improving the nutrient use efficiency and improving the crop yields uh, where the second one that is improve the soil quality as nano geolites and hydrogels as to improve the quality of soil as the biological physical and chemical properties of soil has been improved by use of the nano geolites geolites is a naturally occurring mineral which is a honey comb like crystal structure which is used as a source of the car- carbon as a, it is categorized in the uh, nano fertilizers as well as the hydrogels which will improve the soil quality third one that is stimulate the crop growth using nano material that is material which is used to uh, supply the nutrients or which will be increase the uh, growth of crops this nano materials ca- using nanotechnology for the uh, coating of or encapsulating the na- uh, agriculture inputs which will be improve the, their efficiencies then uh, fourth one provide smart monitoring the uh, monitoring using nano sensors by wireless communication it is the nano sensors which will be included in nanotechnology especially sensors can provide the microclimate information of the field uh, uh, field that sensors will be uh, used in the either in at the time of coating of the material which will be uh, gives the detailed information regarding what to need why uh, need uh, for the soil or the crops this is a potential applications of nanotechnology in agriculture next when we can see the applications of nanotechnology in agriculture that is first one nanotechnology in seed science as we know the seed is the natural uh, nature's nano gift to man 
as the nanotechnology can be used to harness the full potential of the seed the digital with the help of nanotechnology helps to improve the potential power of the seed for improving especially crop yield the seed production is very tedious process especially in wind pollinator crops such as wheat rice maize this is a, a major part which will where the contamination will happen as uh, observed in the field that is, is through the nanotechnology use of the nanobio sensors that nanobio sensors are the uh, uh, used to measure the bio biochemical changes or biological activities uh, occurred in the crops which will be measured with the help of bio sensors that is specific for contaminating pollen can help to alert to possible for the reduction of contamination with the help of uh, use of bio nanobio sensors tracking of source seeds could be helped with the nano barcodes which will be coded in the nano um, nano technology for the, with the help of nano barcodes which will be track the source uh, seeds from one place to another then also nano coating of seed with uh, using the nano metals like zinc manganese palladium platinum and uh, silver as, as well as gold will be Uh, respect to protect the seed as well as to reduce the uh, quantity of seed today the technology such as the encapsulation and control release methods have also the much benefit regarding the seed science seeds can be imbued with or coating with the in uh, or encapsulation with the nanoparticles or material which will be especially in the bacteria strain for the uh, reduce <coughs> the attack of the pest disease or the fun- fungal attack or the bacterial infestation uh, is termed as the smart seed the smart seed can be programmed to germinate when adequate moisture is available coating seed with the nano membrane is uh, this part included in nano technology especially in seed science should be uh, senses the availability of water and allow seed to right time of germination that is through the nano membrane coating uh, of the seed will be help to increase the uh, right time of germination and improve the germination as well as senses or it will be check out the availability of water then also included in the carbon nanotube cntls and this is a tube which will be very granular and it should be in the tube like structure which where the made up of with the help of carbon and then tubes are, are used as a source of the and uh, for water retention through seed coat as well as access passage to the channelize water from the substrate into the seed this is a cnt part also included in the seed science uh, for especially nano technology second one that is nano technology in water science or water use the water purification using nano technology can exploit the nano scoping material that is nano carbon nanotubes and ca- nano filtration which will be included in nano technology for purification of water also utilizes the zeolite filtration membrane and nano catalyst will be improve the impurities which will be depends on the purification of water uh, or the removal of the impurities the impurities such as uh, sediments uh, chemical influence uh, charged particles bacteria and the pathogens which will be removed with the help of geo filter geolite filtration membrane as well as nano catalyst as well as carbon uh, nanotube and nano filtration this uh, also the no uh, toxic trace elements such as arsenic and oil can also be removed uh, by using this nanotechnology this is an endocrine water science which will be purify the water or improve the quality of water by removal of these uh, impurities or whatever impurities are found in the water by using the nano carbon tubes and the nano filtration then zeolite filtration membrane then nano catalyst next third one uh, application of nano technology in a uh, fertilizers that is for nano fertilizers is the product which in the nanometer region which deliver the nutrients to the crops will be improve the uh, nutrient use efficiency as well as crop yield then surface coating of nanomaterials on the fertilizer particle whole material more strongly due to surface tension than the convex surfaces this is a surface coating of nanomaterial is included in the nano fertilizers which will be improve the uh, stability of nutrients or the fertilizer into the soil or field then delivery of agrochemical substances that's fertilizer supply macro and micronutrients will be important aspect of application of nanotechnology in agriculture that is whatever the nutrients or the fertilizers are de- delivered in the field will be 
Next, as a slow release by means of coating with the nanomaterial or particles, which will improve these their efficiency. Then, conventional fertilizer generally applied as a uh, on the crop either by spraying or the broadcasting. It is estimated that the around 90% of nitrogen are loss, 70% phosphorus are losses, and that 30 40% uh, potassium can you know, the fertilizer loss to the environment and could not uh, available to the plants or the causes the sustainable and economic losses. For avoiding these uh, losses or to improve the sustainability and the improve the economic condition, the nanotechnology has proved the feasibility of exploring the nanoscale nanostructure material which will be included as a fertilizer carrier is called as the smart fertilizer. These smart fertilizer are the new facilities to enhance the nutrient use efficiency and reduce the environmental pollution. As a localized placement, large amount of fertilizers are harmful to the soil health as well as the environmental pollution. Nowadays, uh, most of the farmers or the people are applying fertilizers in a larger quantity. They are directly harmful to the soil health as well as the soil health means that its physical, chemical, biological properties of soil will be deteriorated uh, and the environmental pollution is either by releasing the nutrients in the water bodies or emissions of the gases and then also leaching losses, volatile losses will be cause the soil pollution, water pollution as well as air pollution categorized in the environmental pollution. Then also besides the most of fertilizers are unavailable to the crops as the loss of uh, fertilizer through runoff leaching uh, causes the pollution. The nanomaterials have the potential contribution in slow release fertilizer. There is in the end technology the fertilizers are coated with nanomaterial which will contribute to acts as a slow release of fertilizer or converted into the slow, slow release of fertilizer. Then nano coating or surface coating of the nanomaterial on fertilizer particle hold the material more strongly to the plant due to higher surface tension than the conventional surfaces. This is the major reason of the nano coating or surface coating of the nanomaterial to the fertilizer particles which will improve the uh, their efficiency or it can be hold into the soil or it will be provided to the uh, plants it will be strongly because of the higher surface tension than the conventional surfaces then fertilizer with sulf uh, sulfur nano coating is also useful for slow release sulfur fertilizer as a sulfur content are beneficial especially for sulfur deficient soils the stability of coating reduces the rate of dissolution of the fertilizers also, the improve uh, with the help of coating of the nanomaterial of materials will be help to increase the rate of dissolution of fertilizer. Then also, the slow release nano fertilizers and nano composites are the excellent source of the uh, uh, alternative to soluble fertilizers. Then, in nanotechnology, nutrients are released in a fertilizer at slow rate. This is an important part uh, in the nano fertilizer, which will be reduces the solubility or the dissolution of the fertilizers with the help of the slow release nano fertilizer sulfur coating or the nano composites will be an excellent alternative as a slow release the geolites that groups are naturally occurring uh, minerals that have the honeycomb like structure or the layer crystal structure which will be improve the uh, 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 infection or reduce the infection of the bacteria fungi or any pathogens as a bacterial strains will be included or coated with the fertilizer seed as well as the uh, uh, other uh, agro chemical inputs which will really, uh, help to increase their efficiency then uh, control of these uh, pest diseases or in insects the geolites is categorized as a group of fertilizer in the um, type of fertilizer in the uh, nan nano fertilizers and then next one we can see the nanotechnology in plant protection especially currently spacing, uh, spraying of these pesticides in all either in space snap snack that deliver the nutrients uh, sorry in, in, uh, deliver the inputs of this especially in the pesticide in the larger droplets associated with splash loss of uh, loss for control droplet application CDA will be used in nanotechnology with uh, smaller droplets causing spray drifts the constraint due to droplet size may be overcome to the nano pesticide encapsulated or nano size pesticide will contribute the efficient spraying and reduction of the spray drift splash losses 
this uh, is a major problem nowadays that is drift hazards or the uh, uh, splash losses or the size of droplets uh, are the larger uh, or reduces their efficacy or efficiency or durability or stability of the pesticide uh, with the help of nanotechnology will be control droplet applicator are used to reduce the size of droplet as well as the spray drifts or the splash losses and another practical problem faced during the pesticide application in the field in the, so the settlement of the formulation in the spray tank as well as clogging of the spray nozzles this is because of the larger size of particles of the pesticides nowadays are available then problems are occur majorly in the settlement of formulation in the spray tank and clogging of the spray nozzle but the, but recently the nano size pesticide and fungicide prevent the clogging of nozzles and spray tanks the nanotechnology approach mainly in nano encapsulation can be improve the insecticidal value the nano encapsulation comprises nano size particle of the active ingredient being sealed with the thin wall sac or the cell helps to improve their uh, insecticidal properties the nano encapsulation of insecticide fungicide nematicide will help to improve producing the formulation which offers effective in control of the pest the nanotechnology approach of control release of the active ingredients which may be improve the effectiveness of the formulations which will be included in nanotechnology approach by the nano encapsulation or nano uh, uh, control uh, droplet applications will be included in nano size pesticides which will be improve the 10 to 15 times smaller than the other formulations or a clay nanotubes also included which will be developed as a carrier of pesticide at a low cost this is a nanotechnology in plant production where the size of droplets can be reduced or the splash losses can be reduced with the help of control droplet application as well as the nano pesticide encapsulation of nano size pesticides are used to reduce their splash loss spray drift hazards and as well as efficiency of the spraying can be increased and reduction of this loss of the pesticide then also reduces the settlement of the formulation in the spray tank as well as clogging of the spray nozzles next one we can see the nanotechnology in weed science or in weed management the multi-species approach in the weed in a with a single herbicide in the uh, crop environment resulted in poor control and herbicide resistance this is a Nowadays, a major problem because of the use of single herbicide for control of the kinds of weed or weed flora which will be present in the field. But this is because of use of the single herbicide uh, or mono herbicide will be uh, uh, decreases the uh, efficiency regarding control of the weeds as well as increases the herbicide resistance power. And developing the target herbicide molecule encapsulation uh, with the nanoparticle is the aim to uh, specific receptor in the root of target weed which will be control of the uh, weed flora then in infrared areas application of herbicide with insufficient soil moisture may leads to loss of the web, uh, as in the form of vapor the control release of the encapsulated herbicides reduces the competing uh, weeds with the crops which will be used as control release of encapsulated herbicides Adjuvants for the herbicide application are currently in the form of nanomaterial. Nano surfactant based on the soybean has reported uh, to make the glyphosate resistant crops uh, susceptible to glyphosate when it is applied as nanotechnology driven surfactant. Then excessive use of the herbicide have the leave the residues in the soil cause damage to the succeeding crops. This is nowadays a major problem. The continuous use of single herbicide leads to evolution of herbicide resistant weed species. This is also presently the major problems are observed in the weed science. This, that's why the nanotechnology is to use the nano material or nano encapsulated material of particles or the control release of the encapsulated herbicides, adjuvants and or nano surfactant is to reduce the uh, herbicide resistance as well as control of the weeds then uh, uh, next one that is nanomaterial usage in agriculture there are different uses in uh, usages of the nanomaterial in agriculture that is as a source of nano fertilizer for bio nutrition then crop improvement plant protection nano sensors weed management nano pesticide nano fertilizers 
पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी सीड साइंस एंड वाटर मैनेजमेंट सॉइल मैनेजमेंट प्लांट ग्रोथ रेगुलेटर फूड टेक्नोलॉजी दीज आर द डिफरेंट यूसेजेस ऑफ द नैनो मटेरियल इन एग्रीकल्चर स्पेशली नैनो फर्टिलाइज एज अ सोर्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिय इन क्रॉप इम्प्रूवमेंट देर विल बी इम्प्रूविंग द जीन सिक्वेंसिंग और इम्प्रूविंग द पोटेंशियल यील्ड ऑफ द क्रॉप्स एज वेल एज द ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द क्रॉप्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ द नैनो मटेरियल्स इन प्लांट प्रोटेक्शन स्पेशली इन फंजीसाइड हर्बिसाइड और इन द पेस्टिसाइड्स विच विल बी इन कैप्सुलेटेड और कोटिंग ऑफ द मटेरियल्स विच विल इम्प्रूव दर एफिकेसी ड्यूरेबिलिटी और स्टेबिलिटी ए नैनो सेंस द सेंसर्स विच विल बी इंक्लूडेड इन द कोटिंग ऑफ दिस एग्रोकेमिकल इनपुट विच विल बी प्रोवाइड द माइक्रो क्लाइमेट एनवायरमेंट देन ऑल्सो विड मैनेजमेंट एंड पेस्टिसाइड्स एंड फर्टिलाइजर्स विल बी ऑल्सो यूज एज सोर्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट्स विल बी इंक्लूडेड इन द नैनो मटेरियल दिस इज द टूडेज टॉपिक थैंक यू